Um, here to talk about CC41, which is a, a program I started a few years ago. Uh, it's, it will run HP41 programming language in a PC terminal. And the uh, program's called CC41, and the uh, title is CC41 Decimated because the last, over the last couple of years, I, I added a decimal arithmetic library to it. So it performs more like the HP41. And uh, it's a recreation of the functionality of the HP 41CX uh, in desktop PC software. It runs in Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, and that's in my order of preference. Um, and its goal is to run any program that will run on the 41CX, and there's a big asterisk there because some things just don't make sense on a computer. And there's also lots of things you can do on a computer you can't do on a, on a 41. And uh, so it's sort of the Microsoft strategy of embracing and extending. There are extended functions there uh, in CC41. And uh, I'd like to th thank Pascal Dagornay, who reviewed the presentation and provided some comments to me. Uh, so major changes since uh, two years ago, HHC 2021. Uh, CC41 now uses the DEC number math library. It's a decimal number library with uh, 16 decimal digits. There's also an extended version of that and uh, an arbitrary precision, but for CC41 just uses 16 decimal di digits. Uh, the project has been moved to GitHub where you can download the executables and the user manual. Um, some significant features that have been added. There's a user mode. Originally I thought there's just, how would you do user mode in a PC program? But really it just promoted the global labels to uh, command line, to I'd say first class status with uh, regular command. So you don't have to do an XEQ in front of the uh, global label to get it to run. Um, and more recently, Richard's car is running away. No. Um, so, um, and then um, I guess significantly, uh, later this year, I added debugging to the 41 program, and I, I was using it today in the programming contest. And basically, it's you can view uh, the contents of a register, and they print out for every step of the program, and you can pick up the 25 of any registers you want, and uh, and then as you step through it, you can see what, what's happening. And I'll have some examples of, of these as we go through. Um, now I have the ability to save programs in raw format using uh, lift utils. I'll call that utility to do that. And, um, and then also can execute a system command shell script or a batch file, which really opens the world to a lot of things you can do. Uh, and, and we'll get into that too as we go through this. Current commands, the red, red or orange red ones here on the screen have been added in the last two years. Um, just extending as I, as I use it, and I have projects that I do in it, uh, adding in uh, a few of these. There, there's quite a few there. Don't have all of them yet. I don't know what percentage of the commands I've implemented, but uh, as I need them, I add them. And I'll cover some of these in more detail. Uh, the decimal last. Decimal math library upgrade. So deck number, um, it's widely used, the open source license for that. Um, and it manages to pack 16-digit decimal into 64 bits along with signs and exponents, which is pretty amazing. Uh, it has arithmetic exponent and logarithm functions, but no trig. So uh, CC41 uses the C math library uh, long, long trig functions. Uh, so ultimately, that's a place where I would like to put native functions or, or borrow functions from some other open source projects. Um, that's more digits, 16 digits. It's more than you can see with a fix 0 through 9. So it accepts 0 through 15. And we still have one digit left we can't see. So setting flag 60 will show all the digits. For debugging. Um, typical 41 commands are view, a view, stop, and SST. Uh, trace, for which you need a printer, uh, but CC41 supports that in the terminal. Uh, I have control C, which will just stop the program wherever it happens to be safely, 
and then a run command will resume. And up to 25 memory registers can be monitored and displayed with the watch command. Um, well, here's a debugging example. And it's interesting, I just wrote this program really quickly for this. And I'm, I'm running through it and I'm like, oh, it's not working the way I thought. But it was interesting that, I, you know, figured this out by using the, uh, the debugging command. So um, it just doubles the number in registers one, two, and three each pass through the loop. It's pretty simple over there, just recalling from memories one through three, adding them back to themselves, and then stopping after a while. And so the key here, so here, this is a typical command line for CC41 and kind of powerful because you can put a, you can put a short program really on a command line. And then with up and down arrows, you can go back up and down, you can edit this uh, and kind of quickly develop short fragments of, pol of programs. And so here, here's the name of the, the text program that I'm going to load, the get p command, and then I'm going to watch register one, and two, and then watch three. So it says, hey, I'm loading the program. And it's loaded. It's loaded. And you see it prints out the contents of those registers, the stack, the last x, the alpha register prints out for you. And I type in run. And then um, there is a stop in this program. So it's kind of other, you get a little bit overwhelmed with the output if you're seeing all the registers print for every step. So put a stop at a nice place. And then you can see the progression of the register contents doubling each time. And that's pretty handy. So that's, that's just a quick debugging overview. Um, other things that make uh, P program development easier on a PC. Uh, you get to use a full keyboard. You get to use your favorite text editor, um, Vi or Emacs. Anybody who's, those are their favorite. <laughs> no. Mark, which one's it? Mark, which one's yours? Vi. Vi. Uh, I'm, I'm a VS Code. I've been converted. If you, you're non-favorite also. Non-favorite, yes. <laughs> if, yes, you really want to work. Maybe the non-favorite would be keying it in on a original 41. But uh, so, uh, and you can debug it using CC41's debug commands. And then the question would be, at, can I get this quickly from my CC41 into an actual 41 calculator? And you can by using save P and execute. So this exeq is what executes a system command or batch file on the PC. And you just, you put the command in the alpha register and you use that command. Uh, save P saves the program with the designated global label to the name file in the alpha register. This is the same format as save P for uh, uh, extended memory, which some of Gene's favorite features. Um, so, and the output of save P is designed to be compatible with converter utilities. So, um, CC41 accepts a lot of different commands. So there's multiple ways to type the not equals sign. But, you know, and uh, there's probably four different ways that CC41 accepts that. But the converter utilities tend to be more specific. So save P will take whatever you typed in, save it in a format that's already been tested to work with the converter utility. Um, I think I kind of said, said everything here. And then it's been tested with the uh, the converters online at Swiss Micros, Comp 41 from Lift Utils, and 41UC. Uh, and here's an example of the conversion. This is, a, I have a shell script here that works on Mac and Linux. And this will call, call Comp 41 from Lift Utils. Uh, there's some XROM references that you need that Lift Utils provides. And then here, I'm just routing it right out to a raw file from that converter utility. Um, and the Windows version is similar in, the, in how Windows works it. Any questions so far? Okay. So steps for saving the raw file. Load the program using get p. Save it using save p and execute the shell script. Um, 
and that's oh, and it saves it to a DM41X with its USB file system enabled. So that way you go straight from CC41 onto uh, DM41X. And here, here is the uh, the Blackjack program from the standard applications book that came with the 41C. And so that's this program, and th I've got this program on my GitHub as well. You can do this example. Get P. Um, the Blackjack program doesn't have a Blackjack global label. It has CRD. So uh, this goes in the alpha register. You save it. And then I'm calling the convert shell script. And I'm giving it a little different name. And then we execute. And it loads, loads the program. It writes it back out. This is the save P. It then executes the script. And we're done. And it's, it's, on, the, uh, it's on the DM41X. Any questions at this point? Jim. Question. So I see it on GitHub and I see a manual and I see those two programs here. Where do you get the executables? It's on the right hand side of uh, the page. Yep. Um, and then, so these are things for future updates. Uh, I was just working on this this last month, and so I didn't have time to document it. But um, I do want to send a program from the CC41 straight to a 41CX, and I can do that using the RS232 to HPIL converter module uh, there, and an extended I.O. module and a program called OutP41 from LiftUtils. Uh, so it's very similar to the DM41X, but it will go straight to the 41. The 41 will need a little client program there to do a get P on the calculator to import the file. So that's a future topic. Uh, execute. So execute can call programs via the operating system. It can call other instances of CC41. So you could write, you could have CC41 invoking other instances. You could write data files, read data files. Uh, you could have the, you know, uh, there's quite a lot of possibilities of doing things like Mandelbrot image calculations and things like this with multiple instances all feeding back to the to the calling the the original CC41. So I plan to document that up in a future update. And other directions would be to complete all relevant 41CX functionality, uh, implement the replacement trig functions, embed in a custom handheld or desktop format calculator, um, can be alternative firmware for the DM41X calculator. It will run faster as there's not a HP41 emulator involved. Um, it would have more numeric precision than the DM41X. No program conversion needed to raw before loading. <coughs> it would load just a text file from the uh, USB file system. And a drawback is you can't plug in ROM images. Yeah, it's raw. Yeah. Raw. 41 raw file. Yeah. Questions? Yeah, Joey. Is it the same decimal library as the Swift Micros? No. No, the DM42 uses the Intel decimal library. Uh, it's the same one as WP34. Okay. And I'm not, I don't recall what 43, WP43 uses, but. Sylvain. Like the comment 41, the, the, the semicolon, or comment semicolon and asterisks are okay. supported. For comments, or yep. if you want to document the, the program. Yes. Yeah, and you can write the program with or without line numbers. <laughs> if you do write line numbers, you, they don't have to be in order. No, it, yeah, it, but anyway, if you use com com like the com 41, it will compile to raw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, save P removes all the comments. They, they get, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah, whatever. It's the only 41 product that can run a Linux shell script from the <laughs> alpha register. Yes. Yes. That, that's cool. Yeah. So you're limited cool. to 24 characters, but to run the shell? 
Oh, well, you can, there is a path command, so you can create a longer path to, to wherever your shell command is, if you want. You, you have 256 characters. You can get creative by putting the file name in the path. Very, right. But you, there's a path command. So you can put part of the path command or the 24 characters at a time and add it into this bigger buffer. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Any other questions? Joey? Is there anything from Gene's presentation you want to? Add the <laughs> you know, I, 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 oh, at the very beginning there, I went over, I forgot to go over the, one of the last things was I added a continuous memory feature for someone on the forum asked about it. And, you know, because Gene is such a fan of the TI, of TI products and the TI-59, which has no continuous memory, it's flag 59 that enables it. So, yeah. <laughs> If not, thank you, everyone.